Okay, I'm here in the Sony booth, Bruce Burkoff from the LCD TV Association, and we're looking at the new Sony Glass Auto Stereoscopic. How does it work, Bruce? First What's of the all, trick? It's a prototype, not a shipping unit. Okay. And by having 4K by 2K, uh, you get much more pixels, so you yep. can use more uh -huh. to put out more images in more directions. Yeah. Uh, it's not like a, it's like it's not a lenticular lens. It's like a lenticular uh -huh. lens. What's your first impression of it? Uh, it looks great from a distance, but that means that you're not you're surrounded by black, so you're not noticing how hard it would be, because it must have very small apertures of the pixels, so it's hard to be bright, and it's also probably not very power efficient, but it's yeah. a great technology demonstration for sure. But what do you think, and, and so technology aside, what do you th how do you like the way it looks? Well, it looks good. Yeah. I think, as always, Sony has good-looking technology. The problem Sony has is scaling up in volume production at reasonable cost. Does it look as good as uh, glasses 3D to you? Well, I think I think audio stereoscopic displays without glasses free the user. Yeah. Now, I happen to wear glasses anyway. Yeah. So if you put a, a FPR glasses on, like LG or Vizio, you can so clip on lightweight all my glasses. Yeah. To me, that's kind of just as easy. It looks, it looks as good uh -huh. as that. The 84-inch I've seen at LG... Yeah, yeah. Booth is also very good. This is a, another interesting artifact. The yeah. question is, at what price and when it's available? But it's great. It's more value for the consumer and more great products over time. All right, great. So I think it's great for the industry. Hey.